okay, I do my preliminary choke protection, and then I step out and away from the choke. I want to make a comment here about preliminary choke protection. You have to lock your chin. Whenever somebody chokes you, they're attacking your breathing apparatus and your, your blood supply and nervous energy impulse going from the brain to your body, and vice versa. So when he attacks, when he's choking, if I give him those vital targets, I'm a goner, because he could just work in and crush my windpipe in about six seconds. Okay, but my primary defense, as soon as I sent the chokers on, chokes to the front are easy to defend against. Just step out of them. See, it's one of the most susceptible moves to a, to a step away. You hold him and you step away. I can step away and I can escape. If I'm a, a smaller person or if I, if I don't wish to engage him, I've, I'm already one step into my escape and I could be yelling or screaming for help, whatever it takes to get attention. I can step away and use this to set up a bent wrist lock, a beautiful move. He's choking, I distract him. I'm already moving him my way. Bent wrist lock, as he's going down, I'm hitting. The same throw that works against a chest grab, one down, one up, works here, okay? The same moves that work against the chest grab, the wedge from above, wedge from below, notice the counters, okay? The chin, one hand on the chin, one hand on the back of the head, taking him down, just like we did before, okay? I stick my finger up his nose, and let's go.